Hello students, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that in case of emergency the gas actuator is used to move a 75 kg block B. So this block B has a mass of 75 kg. By exploding a charge C near a pressurized cylinder of negligible mass as a result of the explosion, the cylinder fractures and the release gas forces the front part of the cylinder A to move B forward, giving it a speed of 200 mm per second in 4 seconds. So this cylinder explodes and it applies the force on that block B in this direction. So let's say this is the force which is applied by the explosion. So this is that force F and it this force F gives the block B uh, velocity of 200 mm per second in 0.4 second. It is said that if the coefficient of kinetic friction between B and the floor is 0.5, so this means that here we have the kinetic friction which is equal to 0 0.5 times the normal force. So we are asked to determine the, imp the impulse that the actuator imparts to B. So we have to find the impulse of this explosion. Uh, so we so we need to find the impulses due to this force F. So the weight of the block is going to act vertically downward and the normal sur the surface is going to apply the normal force in the upward direction. Now this weight is 75 times 9.81. So now if we apply the equation of kinetics, if we apply the summation of forces along the y axis is equals to m a y so as we can see that the block is only moving in the x direction so the acceleration in the y direction is zero so this means that this will become zero and we are applying this equation for this direction this is the positive direction so now as we can see that this n is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus n minus the weight which is 75 into 9.81 this is equal to zero or we can say that n is equal to the weight in newtons. Similarly, we are going to apply the principle of uh, impulse and momentum which says that mv1 plus the summation of the impulse due to the external forces equals to mv2. So initially the block B is at rest. So this will become 0. v1 is 0. And we are applying this impulse uh, principle of impulse and momentum in, in the horizontal direction and this is our positive direction. So this force F is acting in the positive direction so the impulse due to this force F will be F plus F dt minus the impulse due to the friction which is acting in the negative direction so that will be minus and that will be 0 0.5 into n dt equals to the mass, mass of the block is 75 and v2 and v2 is given that is 200 mm per second that is vb so vb let me write that vb or uh, in other words that is v2 the final velocity which is 200 mm per second so let's convert this into meter per second so one meter have 100 centimeters and one centimeter has 10 mm 1 centimeter equals to 10 mm so this will cancel out and this centimeter will cancel out so this will give us 0 0.2 meter per second so v2 is 0 0.2 meter per second so let me write this is 0 0.2 now if we integrate this this force half is this this is the impulse which is required. This is the impulse. So this is required. Let's say that we represent this by impulse. So we can say that this is the impulse due to the actuator, right? Minus this is constant 0 0.5 n is constant. We can write this outside of integration. So this is 0 0.5 n dt. 75 into 0 0.2 and we have to integrate this from 0 to 0 0.4 seconds since we want to find vt after 0.4 seconds so this is the impulse this is minus 0 0.5 n is equal to the weight which is 75 
into 9.81 and this will give us t from 0 to 0 0.4 and this is equal to 75 into 0 0.2 and now if you put these limits this will be 0 0.4 minus 0 so this will be 0 0.4 minus 0 or we will get 0 0.4. So now if I bring this term, this whole term to the other side of the equation, so it will become positive. So we will have the equation like this. This will become positive as well. So this is, now we can find this, this is 0 0.5 into 75 multiplied by 9.81 multiplied by 0 0.4 plus 75 into 0 0.2. This gives me 162.15. 162.15 newton second is the impulse due to the the actuator that the actuator imparts the impulse to that block b for 0.4 seconds which is 162.15 newton second so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy if it helps in your learning